these are some kind of dangerous syringes. There is a huge pool in which there are a huge number of brains and various syringes. It looks like we've reached Mom's bedroom. If you like and subscribe to the channel now, I will show you what she does there. Come on, guys. About three, two, one. Bluey, get out of here now. I changed my clothes here. <laughs> Hello, everyone, friends. Today we will be running away from Sally's hospital. Oh, we just saw her. She looks really very ugly. Okay, now you need to go along this corridor and go up to that ventilation. Don't you think it's strange that in all the latest games we play, there are giant glowing arrows that point to the right exit? It seems to me that in real life, if we needed to escape from somewhere, these arrows wouldn't exist. In general, this basement is quite strange for a hospital. It seems to me that there are no such basements in real hospitals. At least I've never seen anything like it. Okay, now we need to get through this abyss with spikes using these first aid kits. This game is very similar to the previous game we played. And by the way, here we also need to collect items, namely some kind of hospital checks. But we won't do this because we know that for this, we won't get anything cool. Yes, I completely agree with you. This doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's move on now. And here we need to go up using some strange white circles. By the way, it's very cool that there is a progress bar located at the top. I really like it when game developers add this feature to their games, because with this feature, we know what stage of the game we are currently at. Now we need to overcome this challenge with the help of this giant hospital gurney. The main thing is to jump over these lasers and not fall down so that we can get to the other end of this test. Cool. We managed to do it. Let's go further through this vent. And here we need to move these chairs so that with the help of them we can first get over this fence and only then jump into the ventilation. Oh look! We found ourselves in a room with that same nurse running after us. Well, we managed to escape from her with ease. Oh my god, what is this green liquid? Why is there so much of this strange green liquid in the hospital? To be honest, I would be very scared to overcome this incomprehensible liquid in real life. Okay, now we need to overcome these corridors. It looks like these wheelchairs are endlessly rolling around these corridors. It reminds me of a hallway with a rolling boulder. But here these strollers are together. And in fact, this task is even easier than the corridor with the rolling boulder. Now that we've escaped from these strollers, we need to climb up these stacks of paper. We've only found two checks in all this time, which means we've already missed a few of them. Okay, there's nothing wrong with that. We didn't intend to collect them anyway, and now we need to climb all the way up these stacks of paper. They seem really endless to me. Why is there so much paper in the hospital anyway? This climb is really very long, but it looks like I can finally see the top. Now we only need to overcome a few sheets and we will be at the top. Look, this is a corridor in which saws appear from the wall. I don't understand why the saws and how they are connected to the hospital, but in any case, we need to get past them now. Perhaps they use these saws to cut plaster, but now all modern hospitals use completely different saws that cannot harm the human body. Okay, now we need to overcome this path. And for some reason, some syringes are hanging over us from which some kind of green poisonous liquid is falling. Perhaps these are some kind of dangerous syringes, but they are too huge. I wonder who they are for. It seems to me that these syringes are used to inject elephants or some other giant animals. The main thing is that we were able to get past them. Now we need to overcome this corridor. Look, they're keeping some kind of giant brain locked up there. Looks like we're starting to understand what's going on here. Green barrels? It looks like these are the same barrels in which this green liquid is kept. It seems to me that we shouldn't touch the bright green barrels so that they don't kill us. Let's just get through this. Okay, we went down and it looks like we need to cover the path again. Here, look again at the giant syringes. But they remain at the bottom for a very long time and therefore we have to wait a very long time before we move on. It seems to me that this bridge will be endless for us. I would really like these syringes to go up and down faster because it seems to me that this building is very boring. But we were finally able to overcome this task. Now we move on. 
It looks like this green liquid will accompany us throughout the game. Okay, let's overcome it with this piece of brain. And here he is. It moves along a rather strange trajectory, and it seems to me that the mechanics are working slightly incorrectly. Yes, it looks like this is not the only brain with which we will need to cross the green liquid, because look, there is a huge pool in which there are a huge number of brains and various syringes. It seems to me that it will really be very difficult for us to overcome this entire path. Actually very strange, I have never seen similar tasks in other games. Here, in addition to the fact that we need to monitor the trajectory of movement of these brains, we also need to try to make sure that these syringes do not get into us. It seems to me that this is the most intense task in this game. In general, we very rarely play such intense games. Saw again? Looks like now I know the three most favorite things of any game creator in Roblox. Lava, green liquid, and saws. It looks like here we have almost completely collected all this strange bingo. Okay, now that we have pressed this red button, we need to go back and go further. Okay, we were able to open this door. And now we need to go through this green liquid, use these beds to go upstairs, and I'm just impatient when we finally get out of here because because of this green liquid, my head is starting to hurt. There's too much of it here. Okay, the main thing is not to stop and keep moving forward. Look, now we will go down, and finally, we are right next to the exit, and now we have to fight with the final boss. I can't wait to start the battle with her. Okay, we're running into this backyard. Look, this is the same brain that she kept locked up. Looks like she's gonna fight us with this brain. Okay, let's take this gun and start shooting at her. She takes damage very slowly. It looks like we should shoot not at her, but at this green brain because it seems to me that he is more vulnerable, although this is strange. She controls this brain, which means she should receive more damage. Only a few shots left. Cool, we were able to defeat her. It was pretty easy. But the game itself was really quite difficult because it had a lot of new challenges that we had not seen before. Now let's move on to the next game. Looks like we're a little stuck on this lamp. It reminds me of the game Metal Gear Solid. For some reason, a little cop appeared. It looks like we've reached Mom's bedroom. If you like and subscribe to the channel now, I will show you what she does there. Come on, guys. About three, two, one. Bluey, get out of here now. I changed my clothes here. <laughs> Hello, everyone, friends. Today, we will escape from prison again. But this time, we will escape from prison Larry. Wait! But we are finally outside. That is, we can now just jump into the water, board that yacht, and sail away from here. But for some reason, we go back to prison to undergo a million different tests. And this is the essence of this whole game. We didn't come here to play it for a few seconds. Now, we need to go through all further tests here. Task with valves? Okay. This task is different from the task in Barry Prison. Here, at least, the location of the valves is slightly different. Well, it's good that we came across it at the beginning of this game. This means that now we can simply run away from here. Okay, we've turned all the valves, and now let's go to where a new path has opened up for us. I really don't understand why there is an opportunity to go down here. If we can also jump on platforms like we did before. We are back where we came from before. But for some reason, there is another passage here. Okay, now we need to find the hidden button here. It seems to me that she is under the table. Great, we clicked on it and now we run further. Look, there are a huge number of prisoners in this prison. I really feel sorry for these guys. I would like to free them all, but now we have found some kind of key and we need to find where we can use it. Look. There's some kind of pink doll in this prison cell. I would like to free her, but unfortunately, we do not have the opportunity to do this now. It looks like this key is from that door with that huge lock. Yes, let's open this door and move on as quickly as possible. Look, here is a tunnel to the dungeon, but this dungeon looks a little different. I hope they didn't copy the challenges from Barry's prison and we won't have to hide from a rolling boulder now. Well, let's now open this hatch and go into the ventilation. Why do the creators of these modes love ventilation so much? 
Okay, we were shot from some kind of cannon, and we found ourselves outside again. This is the same school bully we were running away from. It seems that after we defeated him, he was sent to prison. We need to find a way to run around it and get to the sports ground. By the way, look. This is the physical education teacher we ran away from yesterday. It looks like his career also went downhill, and he went to prison. Looks like he was too bad of a physical education teacher. Well, now we need to press this button so that the lasers disappear and we run on. There are a lot of different green puddles on the floor here. Looks like we're a little stuck on this lamp. We need to get out. Oh no, we fell down, but it looks like it was meant to be. Look, this prison warden came running here and it looks like he will be running after us now. But this prison cook will help us. And she said that if we remove the garbage from all her words, she will open the secret door for us. So let's do it. It would have been much easier if there hadn't been a huge fat policeman running after us. But I think we should be able to handle it without any problems. Because of his huge belly, he moves quite slowly. Here you need to collect only five cans and we did it. Now let's go through this door that has opened for us. It looks like he won't run after us into this utility room. Great. Now we need to find a way out of here. Looks like we can move these boxes. I found another golden handcuff. By the way, in this game, it is possible to collect additional items, but I think there is no point in this because usually we don't get anything for collecting them. So now we just need to go through this ventilation and move on. Wow, there are some huge swinging lamps in the shape of a crescent, but we walked past them with ease. By the way, it's very strange that there are rooms like this in prison. Look, now we need to get out again and cross these bridges with lasers. I think it's pretty obvious that we just need to avoid lasers here. We just need to run along the gray sticks in order to move on. Great, we did it, look. We found ourselves in a room with a box and lasers, cool. It reminds me of the game Metal Gear Solid. In it, you also had to use a box to go through some tests. This is a very interesting mechanic. I have not seen this in any other game where you need to escape from prison. By the way, in this location, there are huge rotating lollipops. This reminds me very much of the game in which we ran away from a giant candy princess where we also had to jump on various candies and use elevators made of marshmallows. Look, we found some scissors in this ventilation. Well, let's take them. Oh, it turns out these scissors were needed to cut this bow. By the way, look, it looks like we are now in a location where we need to fight the boss. Okay, let's defeat this giant pot-bellied cop. I think we won't have any problems when we start fighting him. Look, he threw away some handcuffs. Oh my God, those handcuffs revolve around him. Great, we found a safe zone. By the way, for some reason, a little cop appeared who was also running after us. It seems to me that this shouldn't happen. Okay, let's just endlessly shoot at this cop without being distracted by anything to defeat him as quickly as possible. Great, we defeated him. It's very cool that our gun is so fast firing and we just had to press the shot button very often to kill him. Look, we freed all the prisoners and it looks like that purple creepy doll will be free too. I really hope she doesn't give us any trouble. She really does look as creepy as possible. But we are finally on a yacht and sailing away from this building, although we could have gone to this yacht in an easier way. But I'm very glad that we were able to complete this game. I really, really liked her. I love the games of these developers because they seem to have their own universe in which they create different maps that are radically different from each other. Now let's move on to the next game. Hello everyone, friends. Today we will run away from the physical education teacher. Yes, but today it's not Bluey who's gonna play this game, it's Dad. Let's see how he manages to cope with this game. I don't understand anything yet, but I think that here I just need to try to beat this game and collect all the golden whistles. I think there is no point in collecting whistles because usually, in all other games, we only get achievements for collecting additional items. Why is there so much poop here? They are scattered here all over the map. Is this really the gym teacher's poop? If there were so many poops in our school, it seems to me that I would not go there because it feels like this is a school not for people, but for dogs. It seems to me that even in your dog school, there is no poop scattered throughout the school. By the way, I'm coping pretty well so far. The main thing is to go straight and continue to pass all these tests.
Actually, the school really looks very strange because there is a lot of water and poop on the floor. I think this school should be closed. Look at the whistle ahead! But I don't know how we can get to it. Okay, let's just go downstairs now then. Lava again? Okay, it seems to me that there is lava in every game. We need to escape from somewhere. I'm already used to it. Look! These are the springboards from which we need to jump forward. Okay, let's go through this location as quickly as possible. It seems to me that I would not want to stay in this gym with lava for a long time. Wow! There's a rope ladder here. Okay, and now we need to choose the right rope, and Dad managed to do it the first time. This gym seems endless to me. I hope we get away from here as soon as possible. I wonder why we decided to run away from this teacher in the first place. He just wants us to be healthy and pumped up. By the way, this bridge looks very strange. I have never seen such bridges in any gym. In general, this teacher looks pretty creepy because he has a huge belly and thin legs. It seems to me that a physical education teacher should be more athletic than this guy. For some reason, this girl started to overtake us. I hope that we can run forward faster than her. It seems to me that we should actually set a record here. True, we would complete this game faster if Bluey played it and not me. But this time, I really wanted to play because I am very interested in this game. It looks like we need to run into this ventilation. It seems to me that this coach is throwing balls at us, and therefore we need to quickly go into this ventilation so that he doesn't throw this ball down at us. Here we need to choose which direction we will go. I think we should go right. I think this will be the right way. I won't even bother checking what's on the left. Oh, just look. This face scared me very much. This guy really wants to catch us. But now I know for sure that we can't go in that direction. Looks like there's some kind of fan here. Okay, let's use it to go upstairs and move on. Look, we again found ourselves in some kind of giant room with lava. Now we will need to jump through these pipes to get to the end. Okay, now we need to get through this room. It looks pretty big. Look, and there are some spinning rackets in the distance. We need to overcome them. It seems to me that I have never seen such huge locations in games where you need to run somewhere. In fact, we had already escaped from the huge gym, but that was in a different game. This is where we used to run from school and there was just a huge gym in it. It seems to me that that location was much bigger than this. Here we need to get to the other edge of this giant abyss. But I don't understand what these things are. It looks like some kind of cutting board or tray or something. I don't know how this has anything to do with the gym. I don't quite understand what it is either. But I like the test itself. Here, you need to drive forward on it so as not to touch the lasers and not fall down. And it looks like this test is not the only one here. Look. Now we will go forward on another one of the same thing, but it is already green. And it's really quite difficult, but I like that I can handle it on the first try. Now, I need to overcome these spinning lasers. This task is easier than the previous one, because here you just need to jump forward. Okay, I passed this test, now we move on. Let's see what's behind this door. Oh, look! It's a physical education teacher and he's running straight at us. We need to quickly get away from him further. It seems to me that he is a little blind because he ran here along a very strange trajectory. But the main thing is that we were able to escape from him. Now we need to overcome all these puddles and move forward. The main thing is not to step into these poops that are again scattered all over the floor here. It looks like we managed to escape from him. Oh my god, there is too much of this poop. Wait, what? Why did he teleport to this room? Perhaps there is actually more than one physical education teacher here. Okay, it was pretty easy to escape from him. And now we need to get through these pipes that are suspended from the ceiling and go into the ventilation that the arrows are pointing to us. By the way, it is very strange that in this school there are many arrows pointing to the ventilation. It seems that the builders of this school knew that the students would want to run away from these teachers and showed them where the exit was. It's really strange that the teachers didn't remove these arrows. Look, now we will need to jump into this huge hole with lasers. 
It looks quite scary, but now we will go around this pipe along the edge to jump down from the other end to make it more interesting for us to fly down. Okay, I think we've run pretty far, and now we can go down. Look, there are a lot of different lasers here, and there are even rotating ones. I like this better than the lasers in Barry's prison break, because it's a lot harder. I hope that Dad will cope with this the first time, and we will go downstairs as soon as possible. Okay, we passed this test, and now we need to jump on these platforms without getting knocked down by these flying balls. I hope that Dad will cope with this the first time, because he copes with all the tests quite well. Great! We were able to move to the next end, and here we have a corridor with a rolling boulder waiting for us. It's a bit like the rolling boulder challenge from Barry's Prison Escape. But here this corridor is slightly inclined, and so we have to climb up this slide. But this test is just as easy because there is too much of an interval between the balls that fly out of this pipe. We just have to wait for the next ball to roll out. Great! Here he is. We finally passed this test. Well, let's move on now. Judging by the progress bar above, we are already quite close to the end of this game. I wonder what the final fight will be like here. It seems to me that we are already as close as possible to it. Look, we climbed up this pipe and were sent to a huge football field. Looks like you're about to fight a boss now. Yes! You need to shoot soccer balls at this boss. Come on, Dad! Don't stop! Shoot him! Each shot deals him 10 damage, and he only has 500 health units. Just don't stop and keep shooting. The main thing is that he doesn't hit you with his red ball. You only have to hit it a little more than 10 times. He really can't hit us with the ball. But victory remains ours. We were able to defeat him. Well done, Dad. You did very well and completed this game. I really like this game because there are a lot of new interesting challenges that I have not seen before, and there are really very beautiful and interesting designs here. I really liked it. Now let's move on to the next game. Hello everyone friends, today we will finally play a game based on our cartoon. Bluey, is this your prison? Wow, this looks very cool. Look, everything here is blue. Well, let's see how much it has changed. Wow, they made a wooden staircase here. This looks pretty cool. Why is it so difficult to climb? Oh, I think they made it a little buggy. Okay, we were still able to go upstairs. Now let's move on. I really, really like that finally someone made a map in Roblox based on our cartoon. It would be very cool if they added Bingo Mom and Dad here. Unfortunately, this map is called Bluey's Prison Escape, so it seems to me that we won't be here. But look, it's you, the pot-bellied one. It's good that in real life you are not so pot-bellied. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to feed you so much. This boss managed to catch us. Well, we were able to see it up close. I think the second time we will be able to escape from this pot-bellied Bluey. Well, let's press the button and then go to the stairs and go up. It seems to me that they made my model too gigantic. She is not only pot-bellied, but also very tall. Although perhaps, in fact, our model is too low. Okay, I'm very interested in who will be the boss knight and the boss cook in this game. Is Bluey really going to be all the bosses here? Let's go to the toilet room first. I'm really interested to see how they changed it. Maybe they added a new design. Look here, all the walls are blue and have blue stripes. This really looks bluey. Okay, let's take a shovel and dig a tunnel into the dungeon. So far, I like everything that has changed here. Look, everything here is blue too. Yes, the developers here really paid great attention to detail, but I'm very interested in whether there will be changed tests here because I would really like someone to finally remove the test with valves. Oh yeah, this test just infuriates me. I dream that he will finally be completely removed from this game, but we will find out very soon. And now we need to go through this test in order to go to the corridor with the rolling boulder. I really like the fact that all the locations here are made with blue and dark blue colors. After all, it's not only the color of Bluey, but it's also my color. And I just adore him. Now I'm waiting for someone to create Bingo and I's prison or our family's prison. And now we will find out who will be the next boss. So who will be the boss here? 
Wait, seriously? This is a standard boss knight in a blue t-shirt. But why didn't they at least add my model here? It would also be cooler if the boss knight was bingo. Okay, let's quickly escape from this shameful boss. I'm really sorry they added a standard knight boss instead of someone from our family. I really hope that they change the next two bosses in this game because so far they haven't changed anything except the design. Yes, this is really very sad. But in any case, for now, this is the first game based on our cartoon in Roblox. Let's get the most out of it because no one has ever paid us so much attention in games. And by the way, in this game, they removed the passage timer and therefore we will not know how long it will take us to complete this game. So we can take our time to complete it and enjoy everything that is here and take a better look at the entire design of this game. I really like everything so far, except that the developers of this game did not replace the bosses here. Well, they also made the energy drink run a little easier because the platforms are a little closer to each other than in the original. Thanks to this, we were able to pass it with ease. Now let's go get a ladder that needs to be placed directly under the ventilation. And here she is. Let's take it and go to the ventilation. By the way, I like that here. The developers really changed the design of the entire game completely because when we played Minion Prison Escape, the developers only changed the first two locations and a few bosses. This made Minion Prison Escape very boring. Wow, I really like how the thorns glow here. In general, developers of games based on Barry's Prison Escape very often add these glowing spikes. And I don't understand why they don't add them to all games. After all, they look as amazing as possible. Perhaps it's just that not all players have powerful computers that can work well when there are a lot of luminous objects in the location. Well now, let's go turn those valves. I want to finish this challenge quickly so I can move on to the next one. It's a pity that we don't see the time it took us to complete this game because today we are going through it quite quickly. Yes, I agree with you. It would be very cool if we saw the time and could set a record for completing this map because I would really like to set a record for completing my game. And it would be very cool if our subscribers came into this game and tried to beat my record. I think what if the developer of this game watches our videos? Maybe he will add a timer and leaderboard here. Now we will go through this ventilation and go to the test with fans. I really hope that the developers have not simplified this task as happens in some games. Oh my God, they really made a very small distance between the platforms and now we don't even need to jump. I'm looking at Bluey right now, and she even took her hands off the keyboard. I think the developer of this game should change this challenge a little. Well, now we'll see what the boss chef looks like in this game after we make a jump in this wind tunnel. I'm very interested to see him. I hope it's Bluey. And so we are in the cafeteria. Look, everything here is blue too. Wait, seriously? Is this Chief Harry again? Lord, it seems to me that the developer of this game was very lazy to change the bosses. Why is the boss cook in my prison chef Harry? I was hoping to see someone else. Let's not stay here for long. Let's defeat him as soon as possible and move on. I want us to see who the final boss is. Wait, seriously? Did the blast wave push us right onto this hill? Wow, this is a very cool life hack, and I think we can use it in further playthroughs of Barry's prison escapes if they have the same explosion mechanics. Yes, I see this for the first time, but it looks like we can actually do this. Okay, the main thing is to defeat the boss right next to the gate that leads to the slide so that the blast wave will push us right there. And now we need to pass this test with lasers, and we will go through the task with bridges. All we have to do is fly past the last laser and we'll be straight to the top. In fact, I am very afraid that the last boss may also remain unchanged because the developer of this game has not changed the two bosses here. And there is a possibility that he will be too lazy to change the final one too. I don't think we should worry about this. Let's just go through this test with Bridges and find out who the final boss will be. I think that the developer of this game is not so lazy. Giant Cyber Bluey 2000 Mechanical Robot? Wow, she really looks very scary. I really like the fact that they decided to use this particular head here. 
It looks very organic with this mechanical body. She did damage to us, and she's moving pretty fast. Look, she fights us with her legs. It seems to me that this is the most difficult final boss in this game, because she really does a lot of damage, and she almost managed to kill us. OK, we were able to defeat her. Well, I really like that someone finally made a game based on our cartoon, and I hope that they will improve it. Let's move on to the next game. It's Boss Mom. We need to shoot her. It looks like this guy has some problems with the internet because he was left levitating in the air. This player got there first, and therefore we will continue to walk through this map with him. It looks like we've reached Mom's bedroom. If you like and subscribe to the channel now, I will show you what she does there. Come on, guys. About three, two, one. Bluey, get out of here now. I changed my clothes here. <laughs> Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play Team Escape from Mom. From Mom? Are you going to run away from me today? I won't let you go anywhere, Bluey. No, Mom. I didn't mean you. In this game, we need to escape from the house of one very evil mother. That sounds interesting. Let's see what challenges lie ahead of us. This is again a team game, and here we will need to find a partner with whom we can complete this game to the very end. Yes, the main thing is that our partner doesn't abandon us like he did in the last team escape from the doctor. There are quite a lot of players in this game today, and I think that we can find a worthy partner among them. Looks like this guy downstairs wants to play with us. Okay, I think we can trust him in this game. Looks like this guy is waiting for us downstairs. Let's run to him. Great. Now we know for sure that this guy will be our partner. Let's go after him and pass the next test. Okay, here we need to stop the fans so that we can pass forward. I think the guys should let this guy go ahead so that everything goes a little faster. These tests are pretty easy. It seems to me that we can pass them with ease. We are very lucky that we are going through these tests with this guy. Yes, but it seems to me that it would be much better if we played this game together with Bluey. With her, you will be able to complete all team games much faster than with random players. Yes, but unfortunately I don't have the opportunity to play this game with you yet. By the way, you have already passed the test with the fans, and now you need to escape from this evil mom. I hope that our partner will cope with this quite quickly, and we will not have to wait long for him. She looks pretty creepy, and I think we need to run away from her as soon as possible. Great! We found the key. I think this key should open the exit door for us. It seems to me that this woman moves very slowly. It looks like she really doesn't have enough speed to catch up with us, so she's a very easy boss. I want to troll her a little like I'm a noob. Look, this is the exit door. Okay, let's open it and wait for our partner. Look, he's the one running. Great, we finally got it. Now let's get to the top. I think we need to take advantage of these platforms using these buttons. This guy has been going through this test for too long, but it's possible that he just doesn't run as fast as us. Okay, I hope that we can handle this climb much faster. Let's start climbing up. I like this game much more than the previous one because the last game had a lot of bugs, but in this game, everything works just great. And it seems to me that other developers of team games need to take an example from this game in order to create really good games. Look at some room here. Let's see what's in it. Great, this is a crowbar. It's possible that it will be useful to us during the further passage of the game. Okay, this guy took it too, and let's continue to move on with him. It looks like this guy has some problems with the internet because he was left levitating in the air. It seems to me that he needs to set up his internet connection. Great, he's finally starting to climb up. Well, I guess it was the top floor. Now we will climb up this platform and find out what test awaits us ahead. I'm just anxious to find out. Okay, it looks like we now need to go into this ventilation and go down it. I wonder what awaits us below. Now I know why we needed the crowbar. Okay, let's go downstairs and wait for our partner to continue playing this game. It looks like he didn't come down with us. Apparently he really has problems with his internet connection. Okay, let's continue playing on our own then. Maybe we'll wait for someone else. It looks like someone came down to us instead of him. Great! We were able to reach the end. Let's now help the next players go forward in order to find another partner for us. This player got there first, and therefore we will continue to walk through this map with him. Look! She understands everything pretty quickly. It seems to me that with her, 
We can complete this game faster than with other players. Great! I really like how quickly she does everything. And now let's finish this test. Go into the ventilation and move on. I think we're getting through this game pretty quickly. I hope that there are a few tests left ahead and this player will go through them with us. Otherwise, we will have to complete this game for a very long time. It looks like she will play with us until the very end. If only we could come across players like this in every team game. I would really like that. We always come across some noobs who can't press the right button. Now we need to pass this test with the gate. We almost missed her at the very end. And now we need to wait for her to press the right buttons. I really hope she can handle it because she doesn't see what buttons to press. She does it very well and she presses all the buttons correctly. Look, there is some red button ahead. You need to press it. Great. After she pressed it, a staircase appeared. Well, let's go upstairs and wait for her from above. It seems to me that we finally got out of the basement of the house and now a way out of here awaits us. We are in some kind of garage and all that remains for us is to open the garage door in order to get out to freedom. I hope this can be done without any problems. Let's let her go ahead and after that we'll run after her and move on. Great! We are on the street! Wait, what? It's Boss Mom. We need to shoot her. Oh my God! She runs very fast and she is very huge. It's good that our pistol shoots quite quickly and we always hit the target, but her HP decreases quite slowly. Perhaps this is due to the fact that we shoot at her with a pistol. Okay, I think if we run away from her and shoot, we will definitely defeat her. We were finally able to defeat her. Cool! Now we need to run to that treehouse in order to finally escape from her house and we will find ourselves in the final location. I wonder what boosts we can get for completing this game completely. I think now we will find out. To do this, we just need to climb up these stairs and then use the zip line and use it to go beyond the fence of this house. We're finally at the top. Now we'll use the zip line. Okay, I see the final location. Cool. Look, there are a lot of different boosts there. Well, we finally finished this game. I really like this game and I would like to play some other similar team game. I really like this game too, and let's move on now with you to the next game. Wow, are these pipes with bubbles inside? This is the first minion, boss. Looks like someone didn't open the gate all the way. The minion in purple tights is running after us. It looks like we've reached mom's bedroom. If you like and subscribe to the channel now, I will show you what she does there. Come on guys, about three, two, one. Bluey, get out of here now. I changed my clothes here. <laughs> Hello, everyone, friends. Today, we will escape from the Minion Prison. Just look at this design. Wow, I have never seen such a detailed location before. Wow, are these pipes with bubbles inside? This looks like one of the most elaborate replicas of Barry's prison break that exists. I really, really like the way they changed it. Look, they changed the lever and platforms. Platform looks like we're escaping from some kind of cyber prison. Now we will go into this ventilation and find out what the main location in this game looks like. This is the first minion, boss. This minion looks very pot-bellied, but his legs look too long. He doesn't look like a real minion at all. But this location looks just great. They even added laser bars in the prison cells. Okay, now we need to run forward along these pipes with bubbles. I really want to see how they changed the toilet room. I think she must be quite beautiful. Now we will find out! Let's go straight to her! So far, I really like this game. Everything looks very cool here. Wait, why didn't they change the room with toilets? Okay, let's go downstairs. I really hope this is the only room they haven't changed. Look, the dungeon does not look at all like a location that has been changed in any way. In it, all the scenery looks exactly the same as in the original Barry Prison Escape. It looks like they decided to stop all changes to this location. Well, that's pretty sad. I wish they would change the whole game to minion style. I think that would be very cool. Okay, let's now go through this corridor and go to the location with the rolling boulder. I still keep hoping that they added some changes here. In order to find out, we need to go forward. Look, this guy can't pass this test. It's very easy. It looks like this guy just hasn't watched our videos and doesn't know how to play this game correctly. In any case, we will complete this game faster than him. Look, 
This guy somehow ended up right in front of us. Maybe he plays this game with cheats. But in any case, we will overtake him. Looks like someone didn't open the gate all the way. Okay, let's just run past this minion and finally escape from it to another location. I hope we can get it right the first time. We handle it very well. By the way, this minion looks pretty strange. It seems to me that his legs are longer than those of the previous one. Maybe that's why he couldn't catch up with us. And now we need to climb this tower with dilapidated steps to the top, and then we will go to take a test with energy drinks. I'm actually surprised that the developers of this game did not change the locations, starting with the location with the toilets. They managed to change the prison cell in the room with the first boss so beautifully. It seems to me that if they continue to change this game to the end, then perhaps it would become the coolest copy of Barry's Prison Break. Although it's possible that it's just not finished yet. They didn't even change our favorite energy drink run location. I really hoped that they would be able to decorate it, but unfortunately, it remained the same. Well, maybe the developers of this game will watch our videos and then finally finish it to the end, but for now we need to go through it completely ourselves. I really hope so too, because I would really like to play something new. We constantly play Barry's Prison Escape, and it seems to me that I know this game better than the house in which we live. Well, let's take this ladder and go put it directly under the ventilation in order to move on. By the way, this test used to cause me a lot of difficulties, but now I pass it on the first try. Maybe I just learned to play this game very well. It seems to me that during the entire time we have been playing Prison Escape Barry, you have become the best player in this game, and it seems to me that if there were competitions for speed running this game, you would definitely take first place because you know all the life hacks, and it seems to me that no one has ever managed to complete this game in less than 500 seconds like we do. Yes, I completely agree with Bingo. It seems to me that if I sat down to play this game, I would not be able to complete it in less than 800 seconds. And sometimes I'm even surprised at how quickly you do it all. It seems to me that this happens this way because Bluey plays this game every day and she is a huge fan of it. It seems to me that the developers of this game should give her boosts or a skin as a thank you for the fact that she plays this game so often and for the fact that she loves it very much. Yes, I would be very happy about this, but it seems to me that I will soon just add more money to this game so that we can play it with skins and boosts. It seems to me that if we try to beat this game with the help of boosts, we will cope with it in less than 200 seconds. I really, really want to try this. By the way, only 350 seconds have passed, and we are already finishing the race with fans. I really like the fact that in the original version of Barry's Prison Escape, the distance between the platforms is quite large. And because of this, it becomes a little more difficult than all other modes. Wait, don't tell me that. Oh no, looks like there's a bug that's causing us to land slowly. Okay, I guess this shouldn't stop us from defeating the chef boss. By the way, this boss is also here in the form of a minion. However, for some reason his legs are painted purple. It looks very strange, as if a minion in purple tights is running after us. Well, this actually looks pretty funny. Maybe the developers of this game just didn't know how to change the textures of his legs. It's good that he doesn't move faster because of this. It really seems to me that he waves the frying pan from side to side very quickly, and because of this, we are not always able to hit him. We only have to shoot him a few times to defeat him. Cool! We defeated the minion, and now we're heading to the slide. We only have a few tests left to complete this game to the end. Wait, what's going on? It seems that because of the bug with which we land slowly, we cannot quickly go down this slide, and because of this, we will not be able to gain enough speed to overcome the huge abyss. Well, this is very sad. It seems that the developers only worked on the initial location in this game, but did not try to optimize this game at all. Okay, I really hope that after a while we will return to this game and it will be completely ready, but unfortunately, we can't go through it to the end yet. Now let's move on to the next game. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play Roblox Break-In. Break-In? What is the point of this game? I don't understand anything yet. 
Yes, the name of this game sounds quite scary. But so far, we have examined this box, and in it, we found some kind of apple. I wonder what it is for. It says here that we need to explore this house, and by the way, we have already found some kind of key and cookies. We need to understand where we can apply this key. It says here that this key is to the basement. I think we should open the basement with this key. Okay, this looks like a basement. Let's open this door and see what's inside this basement. It looks like we can't get there yet because it's too dark. Okay, I think you really shouldn't go into such dark rooms. It looks like the time allotted for us to explore the house is over, and now the evening begins. We are told that we need to sit at the table and wait for dinner. Someone is knocking on the door. I need to check who it is. Maybe it's food delivery. Let's do it. I hope that no uninvited guests will come to us. Oh, yeah. Look, it's the pizza delivery guy. He brought pizza for us. Great. Let's take it and go to dinner. Wow, there's so much pizza here. There's enough of it for everyone in this house to eat. We had a great dinner, and now we need to find something to entertain ourselves with. What's going on here? Oh, no! Our lights have gone out. Lord, maybe this means something bad is going to happen. Look, breaking news will appear on TV in 30 seconds. I think we need to watch them soon. Okay, let's see what they show us here. I'm already very scared. It says this is an emergency broadcast. Apparently, a gang of masked criminals has begun to operate in the city. And there is a leader among them. His name is Scary Larry. Oh, my God. This guy really looks pretty scary. Okay, looks like we need to be wary of these guys. Now we need to go to bed. Okay, let's find our sleeping place. I hope we don't have anything to worry about. Great, we fell asleep. I really hope that this night will pass peacefully and without any sudden incidents. Oh no, it looks like someone is breaking into our house. Look, this is the same criminal in the mask. It looks like he wants to rob our house. Look, he started hitting our friends. It seems to me that we better lie down and not show it. Otherwise, he will kill us. I hope he doesn't start hitting us while we're down. Let him better run after these two guys who decided to wake up abruptly. Great! The night is over and it looks like everyone among us is alive. This is very good. Looks like we need to start barricading all the passages with these boards. Okay, let's get started. All the windows in our room are already barricaded. We need to move to other rooms and start barricading the windows in them. I really hope that this will deter criminals, and they will not be able to get into our house. At least I really hope that no one will break into our room again, because we have already suffered from this criminal once. Okay, looks like we've all barricaded all possible passages into this house. This is very cool, and I hope that this night will be calmer than the last, and no one will break into our room. Looks like we're planning another dinner now. It's already dark, and I think it's time for pizza. There are only three pieces left, and I think we need to divide them among all the players. Okay, now we will find out which of us will get the food. Great! We got one piece of pizza. It's great! This means that we will have the opportunity to restore our energy. Oh no, it's dark and some light is shining through our windows. Most likely, we urgently need to find shelter. Those bandits are outside again. Okay. I think we better go to bed and hope that our barricades on the windows and doors will withstand their attack. It seems to me that we barricaded our room securely enough. Oh no! It looks like they managed to break through the barricades. It's good that this time they didn't end up in our room. Now they are fighting with our friends in other rooms. Maybe we should go see them. But unfortunately, the game does not give us such an opportunity, so all we can do is stay in our room in bed. Okay, the night is over. I hope all our friends survived. Let's go to other rooms and find out. It looks like the attack was on the blue room. It looks like someone was afraid that they would break into us through the toilet. Okay, maybe this is a necessary precaution. By the way, the green room was also attacked and everyone in it survived too. This is very cool. In two nights, we did not lose a single friend of ours. It turns out they got to us through the first floor and broke the window there. It's possible that someone poorly barricaded it and it looks like someone is still in the basement. I think we need to clear it of bandits. I think we need to go there with our whole crowd and beat up these bandits. It seems to me that 10 people will be much stronger than one bandit, but no, it looks like we won't be able to fight him. It is written that we need to quickly hide from him, and it seems to me that we have found a wonderful shelter. Look, 
This is the leader of these bandits. He comes out of the basement and he wants to kill all our friends. He went upstairs. We need to quickly run to the basement. All our friends are rushing there. This means that we also need to run quickly. Oh, look, we found a weapon. Great. This means that we will have the opportunity to fight with the bandit if he attacks. I really hope that no one will attack us in this basement, because not everyone managed to get down. We need to close the door so that no one gets to us. Just look at this guy's stance. It seems to me that he is definitely ready to repel the attack of any bandits. It looks like one of the bandits managed to get down, but I think that we can fight back. All our friends have weapons. This means that we can kill him. We can finally get out of this basement and up. I'm very interested to see how many of our friends are still alive. And they tell us that we need to go to the store. Okay, we can finally get out of this house. Look, there is some kind of pallet here. Looks like we should buy it. Thanks to this tray, we can cook food for our friends. Great! We bought it, and let's use the remaining money to buy more cookies so that we have the opportunity to restore our energy. I think we'll move on to the next game now. But if our viewers like this game, we will definitely record a sequel. Wait, what? No, don't tell me that! Oh my god, and now we have to jump over the poop. Square poop? Looks like Daddy Pig eats all his food indiscriminately. I doubt he will want to eat us again. It looks like we've reached Mom's bedroom. If you like and subscribe to the channel now, I will show you what she does there. Come on, guys. About three, two, one. Bluey, get out of here now. I changed my clothes here. <laughs> Hello, everyone, friends. And today we will run away from Peppa Pig. Seriously? Run away from Peppa Pig? This is my good friend. I wouldn't run away from her. It seems to me that in this game we are not running away from Peppa Pig herself, but from her house. Peppa Pig herself will help us here. Well, we looked at what skins there are, and let's try to beat this game. Is there lava in Peppa Pig's room? Well, it looks like something bad really happened here. So let's quickly try to escape from here. Looks like we need to go through that yellow door. Okay, let's jump in there. And here comes the next room. It looks like it's Peppa Pig's family's living room. Let's jump over these squares and go forward. There really are a lot of strange things in their house. Okay, we have overcome these squares, and now we need to overcome this huge lake with green liquid. Why do they need so many identical TV remotes? Well, okay, I guess it doesn't matter. Peppa Pig praised us for passing this test. Now we're heading to the kitchen. Okay, let's go there right away. Wow, there are flying knives here. You need to climb them as carefully as possible so as not to step on that red stripe. Where does this red stripe on knives come from? I hope it's just ketchup or something, and no one actually used these knives to kill someone. Ventilation again? Okay, I hope this ventilation won't be very long. It looks like there is a whole labyrinth ahead of us in this ventilation. Okay, I hope we find a way out of here pretty quickly. These corridors are very long. I hope that we can find a way out of here and not get lost here. Why aren't there any arrows here to show us the right path? It seems to me that a lot of players can get lost here. It seems to me that Bluey will be able to find a way out of here very quickly. Look, we ended up in some kind of descent from the ventilation, and we ended up in the mouth of Daddy Pig. Um, okay, let's find a way out of here. Looks like he ate Peppa and her brother George. It looks like we'll have to find a way out of here, and now we've gone straight into his stomach. Why does he have some kind of lattice of green lasers in his mouth? Is this how it should be? Maybe I don't know something? This daddy pig ate a lot of different food, and now we need to climb it in order to find a way out of here. I hope we don't take the same route where all the food comes from. This is simply disgusting. Oh, I thought about that too just now. Well, really, I hope that we just get back out through his mouth. Okay, let's just not think about it now and get through these cookies. I see another long red tunnel ahead. We need to get to him. I want to find a way out of here as quickly as possible. It disgusts me to even think that we are now inside the stomach of a big pig. Wait, what? No, don't tell me that. Oh my god. And now we have to jump over the poop. It looks like we'll get out of here this way after all. Square poop? Looks like Daddy Pig eats all his food indiscriminately. Okay, we overcame this test pretty quickly, and now we need to jump over some strange stripes. It seems to me that these are the same stripes that we jumped over before. 
Okay, now we need to jump to the very bottom. This guy's digestive system is very strange. I think he definitely needs to see a doctor because what's going on inside his intestines is not normal. I completely agree with you. It seems to me that this shouldn't happen at all. It's also very strange that his intestines are square and not round as it should be. Okay. Looks like we got out and we ended up in the toilet. It's good that we didn't see the process of how we ended up here. Now we need to escape from this bath. I really hope that it won't take us long to get out of here because it seems to me that we are stuck in Peppa Pig's house for a very long time. The last time we visited them, everything was much more hospitable. At least no one ate us. Levitating comb? Okay, looks like this is how it should be. Let's get out of here as quickly as possible. It seems to me that Daddy Pig is about to get up from the toilet and start running after us. I doubt he will want to eat us again. Okay, now we need to get down from this shelf, and it seems to me that we need to land on these strange water spots on the floor. Those water spots look pretty weird. I think they are too bulky. And in general, it's a little illogical that we need to move by touching them instead of walking on the floor. Looks like we teleported to the guest room. We finally escaped from this toilet. Everything looks much nicer here. At least there isn't a huge pooping daddy pig here. Okay, let's just run over these tables with strange stains on them and finally escape from this house. These tables look really nice. I wish I had a pink glass table like this in my room. Okay, we are finally on the floor and we now need to run through these country's yellow platforms. Looks like someone dropped a hot dog. I think we can use it. Look, Peppa Pig's family has a huge green parrot. Looks like he was the one who knocked the hot dog off this table. Well, let's just keep running. Now we have to jump on this very tasty looking food. It's really quite strange that the food in their house levitates above the ground. So I want to escape from this house as soon as possible because very strange things happen here. Now we need to overcome this labyrinth with glass platforms. And it seems to me that I can already see the way out of here. Yes, it looks like now we will need to jump on these platforms and we will get straight to the front door. Look, someone left money here. It seems to me that you shouldn't treat money like that. It should lie neatly in one place. It looks like their family is very rich if they can afford to throw money around in their hallway like that. Okay, we only have a little time left to escape from this house. Now we need to jump on these Lego pieces. It's also quite strange that these Lego pieces levitate in the air. But this is Roblox and there is no logic in it. To be honest, it's strange that I'm looking for logic in this game. After all, just recently we got out of Daddy Pig's stomach in the same natural way. Oh my god, don't remind me of this. I feel bad every time I remember how we passed this level. The main thing is that we got out of here and we have very little left. Look, we finally overcame this strange red maze and now we are escaping through the window from this house. Hooray! We ended up on the roof and finally we escaped from Peppa Pig's house. It seemed to me that this lasted forever. I really like this game, except for the task in which we had to get out of Daddy Pig's stomach. But anyway, this game was pretty hard and interesting. Now let's move on to the next game. Maybe there is an opportunity to somehow fart in this wind tunnel in order to fly up faster. It's pretty cute that there are daisies flying in the air here. I would have this creature in my nightmares later. Hello everyone, friends, and today you and I will escape from Zoo Anomaly Prison. Wow, this scary guy scared me through the bars. Well, okay. I hope that this will not affect our passage of this game. What are zoo anomalies? This is the first time I've even heard of this. This guy looks like he died 10 years ago. Zoo anomalies is a very creepy horror game. It just appeared recently. In this game, you need to walk around the zoo with very scary creatures. I would never play this game in my life. Look, he is waiting for us almost right next to the descent from the ventilation. This guy was really prepared to catch us. I think that we can escape from him with ease. After all, we have escaped from various prisons a huge number of times, and I think that this game will not be difficult for us. This guy truly has one of the creepiest faces of any boss in Barry's prison break. It seems to me that I have never even seen scarier creatures in Roblox. 
Everything here really looks extremely unroyal. I really wouldn't want to find myself in such an atmosphere. It seems to me that if I end up in this prison, I will hide in the corner. Trust me, darling. If you find yourself in such a prison, you will cry a very long time. This place is very awful. Dad, stop scaring our mom and better. Continue to watch how Bluey play this game and try to not to die once. There's already quite a depressing atmosphere here, and everyone feels uneasy without your stories. Yes, there really is quite a tense atmosphere here. It seems that the developers of this game tried to convey all the horror of that very terrible zoo from the game. They did it very well! It seems to me that this is the scariest Berry Prison escape among all that we have played. But by the way, the corridor with a huge rolling boulder doesn't look as creepy as it could look. It's very strange that they actually decided to make a road here. This is a dungeon under a prison. Where does the road with road markings come from? By the way, now we will see who will be the boss of the night in this game. Look, it's some kind of tiger. As I understand it, this is also a creature from this game. Well, okay, let's escape from him as quickly as possible, otherwise he will catch us. You managed to do it with ease again. Well done, Bluey. Now we need to climb this tower with dilapidated steps to the top. It's pretty dark in here. I really wouldn't want any of these creepy beasts to jump out at us from around the corner. Let's take this elevator up, and now we'll start running our favorite energy drink race. We really love this test because here we run at great speed. Yes, this speed is really very cool. I really love completing this task. And in general, I really love moving quickly. It's good that it's quite bright here. This is the only location where I'm not afraid to walk. By the way, it's pretty cute that there are daisies flying in the air here. It creates a feeling of peace in this game and calms me down a little. I think this spoils the whole atmosphere of this game a little. I would like it to be all dark and creepy, but here everything looked pretty nice. It felt like we were running through some kind of flower meadow. Now we will climb these stairs and find ourselves in the location where we need to take the stairs. By the way, it's pretty creepy here again. It seems that due to the fact that the developers decided to make all the walls in this game black, all locations in this game became dark. Bluey was able to get the ladder under the vent again the first time. Great job, Bluey! Now let's go to the task, where we will need to walk across a bridge with a fan. By the way, the spikes in this game look pretty cool! They glow acid green! I really like this color because it is very bright and pleasant. In general, this game has a rather strange color design. It looks like they chose it to be similar to the Zoonomaly game. Now we will climb these pipes and go to the valves that we have already turned three million times. Now we need to turn the first valve, the second, and then we will go straight to the third. It's good that there are absolutely no screamers in this game. Otherwise, I would be very scared to complete this game. And completing this game would take us a really long time. And so we are actually playing the usual Barry Prison Run, in which the boss models and color scheme of the game have been changed. In fact, I would like to play some kind of horror game in Roblox in which I could tickle my nerves. But nothing comes to mind except the Roblox doors. I think this is the best horror game in Roblox, and there is not a single horror game in this game that is cooler than it. Oh yeah, I remember our whole family playing Roblox Doors and it was really scary. I was especially scared when I was walking around a dark room and heard someone whispering. But it turned out that a screech clung to me, and he scared me very much. Oh yeah, I remember it very well. I will never forget how my mother screamed throughout the house when she saw him. Now let's go through this ventilation. Now let's go to the cafeteria room. Look, that's a big smile from the fox cook. We need to take a bazooka and try to kill him as quickly as possible. I think this guy looks like the creepiest boss in this game. Just look at his creepy face with huge black eyes. It seems to me that this guy is ready to eat not only us, but also our soul. Just look at how he exploded. Now we need to slide from this huge hill. By the way, we get through this game pretty quickly. It took us less than 360 seconds to reach this slide. It would be great if we had some other life hacks to speed up our progress through this game. What especially irritates me is the tall staircase. It seems to me that we have been climbing it for an eternity. I think we already know too many life hacks in this game. 
Interesting. Maybe there is an opportunity to somehow fart in this wind tunnel in order to fly up faster. This would have saved us as much as two seconds to complete this game. It's time, it seems to me, that I absolutely don't know how to distinguish when he speaks with sarcasm and when he speaks seriously. But her idea was really cool to study. It seems to me that the game developers should listen to him and perhaps add this feature to this game. Did you really say that? Okay, I hope you were just joking too. Well, now let's go through this level again with the help of our life hack. I think that we will be able to do this quite easily because we are real professionals in passing this game. Okay, now we'll go to the boss's location and see what he looks like. Wow, they changed the boss and the location. It's a giant smiling robot cat. God, his face looks like it was molded by some schizophrenic out of plasticine. But I think he doesn't look so creepy in a robot suit. It would be much scarier if he were just as gigantic but with his own body. I think if I saw this, I would have this creature in my nightmares later. Are you really that afraid of him? Okay, I think we should stop playing such scary games, otherwise you'll really have nightmares. We finally defeated him. It was pretty easy. Now let's move on to the next game.